things fall apart and the center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed up on the land. Things fall apart and the center cannot hold. And I start with those lines because I want to ask, why are things in such danger of falling apart in the country today? The answer is an open secret. Every time you look at our coat of arms, it's right over there, you will see the answer to that question. It's written under our coat of arms. We call it the Nigerian motto, and it says, unity and faith, peace and progress. Unity and faith, peace and progress. Unity and faith, because it is difficult to preach unity if you're not also offering faith. The unity of the country feels like it's under threat today because too many Nigerians have lost and are losing faith in the nation. Why is this happening? The answer is sad, but relatively straightforward. Where you have a soldier that has paid the ultimate price defending the territorial sovereignty of the country, perhaps in the Northeast, and afterwards the government struggles for one reason or the other to care for the widow and orphans is left behind, people lose faith. If you have a Nigerian that has graduated from university with a 2-1 or a first class, and it's pounding the streets of Lagos and Abuja, but cannot find a job because of federal character, quota system, tribalism, nepotism, people lose faith. If you have a mother that takes her child to the hospital, and must want that child die because that government hospital is on strike. Or if it's not on strike, it has no drugs. Or if it has drugs, she has to pay the full market price for treatment up front before they would consider this child that she must then watch that child die in the corridor. People lose faith. And when people lose faith in the states, they take solace in the tribe because the tribe is a natural enemy of the state. When people lose faith in the state, they take refuge in the tribe. And as more and more people take refuge in the tribe, they begin to trouble the peace of the nation, unity and faith, peace and progress. So how do you defend the peace of a nation that is being troubled in this way? Not by bullets or bombs, but by bringing progress to the people. For it is that progress that restores the faith of the people in the state. For when the Nigerian passport, when the green, white, green becomes a valid ticket to a better life, people will rush to embrace the Nigerian identity.